To very little surprise, the World Health Organization, after a three-week investigation in China, says it still doesn't know the origins of the COVID-19 pandemic. The pandemic, of course, was first detected in the city of Wuhan, possibly coming out of a live animal food market at that time. So why isn't it surprising that the World Health Organization can't reach a conclusion? Well, they weren't allowed into Wuhan or the live market for more than a year. That would be like asking homicide investigators to solve a murder when they were denied access to the murder scene for more than a year, and where all the evidence had either been removed, lost, sanitized, or disposed of. We do know that at the start of the pandemic, China's dictators were arresting and threatening doctors in Wuhan who were telling the world the truth, which was the key fact that COVID-19 was spreading from human to human. That's very significant in terms of a pandemic. We also know that the World Health Organization repeated this claim by China's dictators, that A, it wasn't transmitting from human to human, or it was highly unlikely. And the World Health Organization did that without having any way to independently verify it. And that was one of the reasons the world initially underreacted to the threat posed by COVID-19. We also know that the World Health Organization's Director General, Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, who many critics say is too close to China, was praising China to the skies at the start of the pandemic for being open and transparent. But we also know now that who scientists were privately complaining that they either weren't getting vital information they needed from China or they were only getting it a couple hours before it was released to the media. So where do we stand? Well, China's delighted that the World Health Organization doesn't have a conclusive um, recommendation for how it started, because they can continue with their theory that it actually was imported into China from other countries through frozen meat. Now, many, if not most, scientists say that's highly unlikely. And China is also happy because the WHO said, while it doesn't know how it started, it does know that it's very unlikely that it came from a, a lab in Wuhan and was accidentally released. So good news for China, bad news for the rest of the world. The reason being, if we can't figure out or experts can't figure out how exactly the virus started in China, then we're not going to be prepared for the next virus, no matter where it comes from. I'm Laurie Goldstein of Sun Media. We're always interested in hearing your views, and please follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and our YouTube channel.